Hey folks, I'm Mr. Hartzler, and in this video I wanted to talk to you about activity 3.1.3, and this is going to be part 5 now, and we are looking at the infrared line follower. That is this little fellow right here, long and skinny with a small black box in the middle. It measures line values, or sorry, color values, and it spits out a different number depending on what kind of colors it's looking at. If it's a white color, it's going to be 150. If it's really dark, it's going to read 2700. And if you look just above you here on the top right corner, we're moving the servo to position 127. Servo is this little fella. We're going to move it to 127 until the line follower sees a dark object. Once that happens, we're going to move the servo to a negative 127. Over in the left, you'll see that I've already set the servo to positive 127, and then I've set it to negative 127. So in the middle, I have to have until dark and what's that dark number what is dark and this is actually it actually means until it's darker than 1425 and what sensor what motor port am I looking at and this one is line follower end it with a semicolon and I'm gonna compile that program let's download it to robot and then we can actually look at some of the line follower values as well so under sensors, line followers this top option. If I cover it up with, uh, let's say, this blue paper, it's very close to white. It's reading somewhere around 150. Good. When I move, it's reading 3,000. So let's start this program. And you should notice that the servo will move to its first position, 127. So let's start. It moves to 127. When I move this paper, it should move to negative 127. It did. Let's start it again. I'm covering up the line follower again. And I moved it faster, and you can see that the servo moves faster. It's not a timing thing. It's all about what it sees. Hopefully, this was helpful. And my next video is going to be on using the ultrasonic distance sensor. That video is going to be up over here in a little bit. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.